Aguilar will kick it away from his own 40-yard line. Back deep to receive for Goddard. Jason Kelly, who is their key on offense. He's their tailback. He's standing near the goal line, along with Curtis Kempton, a 5'9", 160 sophomore. Liberal will be kicking it from right to left on your radio dial. Aguilar into the kick, and we're underway. A high end over end kick. Kelly will take it on the goal line, fumbles it, and it's going to be a touchback. Kelly caught the ball right on the chalk, and it bounced into the end zone, and the referee ruled the ball coming out to the 20-yard line. So the Goddard Lions will start first and 10 from there, and Liberal hoping to shut them down early. Rory Hamilton will be the quarterback, a six-foot, 150 senior. Coach Farrell Jones will rotate both Cale Warden and Hamilton, but Hamilton gets the call here early. In the backfield, Jason Kelly at tailback and Barney Miller at fullback. Hand off to Kelly, off left tackle, and he wedges it across the 20 to about the 21, maybe the 22. Pick up of a couple on the play, second down and eight. Kelly is their key on offense. He'll get a lot of carries at 5, 10, and 200 pounds. So the Goddard Lions will try to work behind those two strong tackles, Kevin Moe and David Buck. Moe, 6'3", 265, Buck, 6'2", and 260. Second down, eight yards to go, Goddard from their 22. Hamilton is going to option right. He keeps it trying to get to the outside in the 25, and he's knocked out of bounds right there by Jason Dunlap. Rory Hamilton trying to spread out the play that time, getting it to the outside, but a good play by Dunlap, knocking him out of bounds. Pick up uh, maybe three, it'll be third down and five. Good pursuit that time by Dunlap. Mark Cowell split out to the right side. Three back set behind Hamilton. And off straight ahead to Kelly. He's tripped up, and he's going to be short of the first down. Got a couple out to the 27. That time, good play inside. Jeremy Tooman knifing in there. Trey Duncan, and it's going to bring up a third down and about two, excuse me, fourth down and about two yards to go. And the Lions will have to punt the football. So a good stop on the first series by the Angry Red. Ryan Gehring is in to punt the football. It's a wobbly kick. It's going to bounce at the 45 over to midfield across the stripe into liberal territory. And now it takes a roll and dies right at midfield. A very poor kick. And it's down right there. And the Redskins will start first and 10 at the midfield stripe. So a net kick that time of only about 22 yards. And a good start for the Redskins. That's not too shabby starting on the 50. Rashidi Love split left, Andy Hall split right, Dunlap and Garmin in the eye set behind Chapman. Takes a snap, hand off, Garmin. Fumbles the football, it's loose on the ground and Goddard falls out on the 46 yard line. Coming up with the football that time, Chad Thomas, a 5'9", 160 cornerback. It was loose right from the start. Garmin didn't have a chance. It squirted forward, and really there were blue shirts all around it, and Thomas fell on it right there at the 46. So the first play from scrimmage and a liberal turnover. Now before the snap, it looks like the Redskins jumped off sides. Rob Glover, let's see if he was drawn off at the 46-yard line. Glover jumped over quickly, and that's what the call's going to be. So that time, usually the cadence of the quarterback causes that, and Hamilton doing a good job, so it'll be first and five. The ball mark now on the liberal 49-yard line. Hamilton brings him up to the line. Kelly. And also a new running back in the game, Curtis Kempton in the backfield. Split out to the right side will be Dane Bear. First and five from the liberal 49-yard line, and now Trey Jun Duncan adjusting his helmet, and he's got the chin strap on. 10.05 to go first quarter, no score. Goddard Lions with the football on their second series on the liberal 49, first and five. Hamilton takes a snap, bobbles it, keeps it now, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. So Hamilton having a tough time with the exchange there from the center, Mike McEwen, and he lost a couple back to the Goddard 49. It'll be second down and seven. 
So both teams a little bit jittery here early. Thirty-five clock running first quarter. No score. The Redskins and the Goddard Lions. Second down and seven for Goddard from their 49. Three back set. Miller, Kelly, and also Kempton. And a play action pass across the middle and it's picked off by Rashidi Love. Love picks it off on the liberal 30 yard line. That pass well overthrown. Intended over there for Eric Johnson, a wide out. But Hamilton wasn't even close with that one. And Love playing deep safety picked it off. And the second turn over the ball game. So both teams turning it over. That was the first pass attempt by the Lions and unsuccessful. Rashidi Love with the pick. Liberal starts first and 10 now from their 28 yard line. Still no score. Approaching nine minutes in the first quarter. I set behind Chapman. Hand off. Garmin, left tackle. He's got a hole. He's to the 40. Garmin to midfield. Garmin to the 45 of Goddard and he's finally knocked down at the Lion 41 yard line. David Garmin with a pickup of close to 30 yards on the play and a liberal first down. That time, he had a gaping hole on that left side, Bob. He's at close to 980 right now. First and 10 liberal on the 41 of Goddard. Hand off to Garmin, and he's met right at the line of scrimmage and drops. Coming in that time was Curtis Kempton, a 5'9", 160 sophomore to drop him. A fine defensive play right there by the youngster. A loss of one, it'll be second and 11 for the Redskins. Ball resting on the line, 41. Well coached team, and very disciplined on defense, and they're going to kill the whole whole season. Dunlap and Hall now in the split backs behind Chapman. Inside handoff, Hall off left tackle. He's got a hole, 35-30, and he's going to be close to a first down, and I believe he has it inside the Goddard 30-yard line. Andy Hall with a pickup of about 12. They're going to mark it at the 29. The slot sweep that time. Hall going down the line and finding the seam for the first down. Very good about four first down, first down, two liberal ball just inside the Lion 30. Wilson split left, Hall split right. Two backs behind Chapman, handoff, Garmin over right tackle, big hole again. Garmin to the 25, Garmin inside the 25, close to the 20 yard line. And he's going to be close. And that's another 10 yards for Garmin, and he's getting close to that 1,000 yard mark. That will be a little bit short, Bob. So Liberal setting up now second and one on the Goddard 20 yard line. No score, but the Redskins threatening. Second and one, Chapman, hand off to Hall, slap sweep, first down, 15, dragging tacklers, bounces off a couple inside the 10 to the nine yard line. First and goal, Redskins, Andy Hall with big chunks of yardage on his carries so far. And he picks up 12 yards on the play and the Redskins are knocking on the door here early. It's been the Hall and Garmin show, Bob, carrying the load here on the first, so check that, the second drive for Liberal. Dunlap and Garmin in the backfield. Chapman, handoff, Garmin trying to get to the left side, and he's met at the line of scrimmage and dropped. Goddard with a good defensive play that time. Chad Thomas from his cornerback spot, one of the guys in there to drop him. They're going to give Garmin about a yard. Make that a couple yards. They're going to mark it at about the six yard line, second down and goal. So Garmin got something out of it. Second and goal liberal on the Lions six yard line. Dunlap and Garmin in the backfield. Chapman takes the snap. Handoff, fake handoff. He'll keep it right side and he's dropped. Not much there. Looked like Lamar might have slipped at the line of scrimmage. And the Goddard Lions strung that one out well. That time, uh, Mike McEwen in on the stop. Here 
Here's a big play here. Third and goal from the Goddard five-yard line. Chapman takes a snap, handoff. Andy Hall, slot sweep left, five to the goal line, touchdown liberal. Andy Hall just ran over the cornerback Chad Thomas at that goal line for six points, and Liberal strikes first. They're up 6 0. That time, Hall used his helmet to just spear Thomas right in his midsection and ran him over. Aguilar for the extra point, hands him to hold, snap down, kick on the way, and he gets it. 5.59 to go first quarter, the Liberal Redskins with an impressive drive with the running of Andy Hall and David Garman doing the trick. It's Liberal 7, Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskins football on 1270 KSCB. Curtis Kempton returns a Philip Aguilar kick across the 15 out to the 20 yard line. Goddard will start first and 10 from there. Liberal seven, Goddard nothing. The Redskins, a 76 yard drive. Andy Hall capped it off with a five yard run. Aguilar to PAT, and they strike first after the Goddard turnover as Rashidi Love picked off a pass at the 24 yard line. So a long drive and Liberal chewed up yardage on the ground. Goddard starting first and 10 from their 20. Rory Hamilton at quarterback. In motion will be Dane Bear to the left side. Hand off straight ahead. It's going to be the fullback. And that time, Kelly wedged it out across the 25-yard line. Pretty good pickup, close to five yards on the play. Kelly normally at the tailback spot. That time from a fullback spot. It'll be second down and five. Gain of about six. Ball resting on the line at 26. That time you had the interior of Everett's line uh, lunging a little bit there. Personally, we didn't go off sides. Very heady In the backfield, Kelly and Miller, Hamilton at quarterback, under five minutes to go first quarter. And Redskins up 7 0, and we have a penalty flag. Maybe some encroachment in the neutral zone, Bob? That's five yards against the Redskins, and that'll be, let's see if that's a first down. It'll be very close. We're going to mark it at the 31. Yes, it is. A first down for the Lions. So the Redskins have been plagued by penalties lately, and Paul Nelson, I'm sure, not happy. That penalty is a first down. in motion to the right side at a wide out spot. Option right and looked like they gave up to the fullback and absolutely nothing there. Barney Miller, that time an option right as Hamilton tried to keep it down the line, left it in the belly of the fullback Miller and Liberal was right on it. That time that defensive front wall drops Miller for a loss of a couple on the play. And it'll be second down and 12. Liberal defense is doing a good job up the middle, and that is a factor, of course, with those two big tackles for Goddard. This time, two receivers split right. Mark Cowell and Dane Bear on a second and 12. Hamilton hands off to Kelly, off left tackle, and he's stacked up. That time looked like Ryan Rhodes and Trey Duncan. That was a brick wall, absolutely nothing for Jason Kelly. They're going to give him maybe a yard on the play. Let's call it third and 11 from the Goddard 30 yard line. Two backs, Miller and Kelly behind Hamilton. Hamilton's going to hand it off straight ahead to Kelly, and nothing there. Kelly got a yard maybe, and that is not going to get the job done against this liberal defense. Rhodes, Tooman, Duncan, all of them in there, stacking up Kelly for a yard gain. It'll be fourth and ten. Well, Goddard not too fancy, but they're going to have to put the ball up or do something more dramatic than that if they want to move the football on the Redskins. Johnson 
Eric Johnson now in as a punter. He'll kick it inside the liberal 45, and it's going to bounce out of bounds at the liberal 35-yard line. Rashidi Love just let it go. Ended up being a pretty decent kick. 35-yard line is where they're going to mark it. And the Redskins will start there. So that's the second punter we've seen in the game for the Lions. Eric Johnson, who is listed as their number one punter, got off a pretty decent kick, better than the previous man who just kicked a 22-yarder. Redskins first and 10 from their 35. Dunlap and Garmin in the split back behind Chapman. Chapman takes a snap, handoff inside to Garmin, up the middle, big hole. Garmin across the 45 and finally ridden down there, but that's an 11-yard pickup and a first down. On the tackle that time, for Goddard was Chad Thomas, their corner, and that's going to do it. That is the 11 yards needed. He has crossed 1,000, Bob Judd, and what an accomplishment this early in the season. First and 10, handoff to Dunlap straight ahead, and the power fullback takes it close to midfield, pickup of about four on the play, second and six. So Garmin now with 1,002 yards rushing, and as you mentioned, that nine yard average per carry has to be the most impressive stat. One fifty to go, first quarter. Liberal up seven, nothing. Second and six from their forty-nine. Hand off to Hall, straight ahead, and he gets a couple to about the Goddard forty-eight. It'll bring up a third down and about three or four. Looked like one of the tackles was a key there. Kevin Moe, a 6'3", 265 junior, in on the tackle, and Liberal facing a third and about three yards to go. Looks like they're just getting some gaping holes for the running backs, especially off the tackle. And it's been Garmin and Hall. That's been the story here. Hall, Hall will be behind him. Chapman takes a snap. It's going to be Hall trying to get to the outside right side. First down inside the 45, inside the 40 before he's dropped. On the tackle, Jeff Barnett, the defensive end. But a big gain on the play, and they move the chains. Pick up of about seven, and Liberal now really starting to dominate that line of scrimmage, approaching one minute to go in the first quarter, already leading 7 nothing. First down on the Goddard 39, handoff to Hall, trying to get to the outside, left side, 40, cuts back to the 35, 30, 25, 20, and he's dropped. Pick up a 20 yards on the play and a first down for the Redskins and Andy Hall really picking up huge chunks of yardage from that slot back position. He's also played some tailback and Liberal has a first down on the Goddard 21. 40 seconds now in the first quarter. Love split left, Hall split right. Liberal going with the hurry up offense. Not taking much time. Chapman takes the snap. Handoff, Garmin, right tackle, big hole outside. 15, 10, 5, touchdown Redskins. David Garmin from 21 yards out. And the Redskins dominating this first quarter of play. They now lead it 13 to nothing. in the Shrine Bowl, quite a performer. Aguilar on to the extra point, he splits the uprights. 26 seconds to go, first quarter. Liberal 14, Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. 65 yard drive. Aguilar kicks it away to Curtis Kempton, and the Goddard deep man carries it across the 15 to the 16-yard line, and the Lions will start there first and 10. 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. Liberal 14, and Goddard nothing. 
The Redskins scored on a 76-yard drive for their first score, then a 65-yard drive on the last series. Andy Hall and David Garman with touchdown runs, and they have completely dominated the line of scrimmage in this one. Goddard's going to come to the line here, but I don't think they're going to get the play off. Five seconds, Hamilton under center, first and 10 from the 16, gets the snap off. Hand off, rolls right on the fake. He wants to throw, fires it, and it's caught across the 30. The reception made that time by the wideout Mark Cowell, the 6'4 senior on the catch, and a pickup of close to 16 yards on the play, and a first down for the Lions, and that's going to draw to an end this first quarter of play. One quarter is in the books. It's been all Redskins. Liberal 14, Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskin football on 1270 KSCB. Start of the second quarter, Goddard with the first down from their 32-yard line after the big reception. Liberal up 14-0. Hamilton's going to roll left, wants to throw, fires it to the near side, and the pass is caught out of bounds and dropped. That was the same receiver, Mark Cowell, the 6'4 end, and that time that one fluttered up in the air, and I don't think Harold Carmichael could have made that catch. It falls incomplete. We'll bring it back. Second 10 from the 33. Second and 10, 11.53 to go in the second quarter. Liberal 14 and Goddard nothing. Let's see if they bring out some gadget plays here. Hamilton has completed just one pass. It hasn't put the ball up much here in the early stages. Second down and 10 for the Lions from their 32-yard line. Hamilton, draw play, right side, Kelly trying to get to the outside, and he's going to be strung out and knocked out of bounds. Good pursuit that time. Brian Herbel, Roger Hoffman, also over there was Justin Cornelson, the key, as he put the helmet on the football. Well, he didn't look timid at all in that play. Just a pickup of a yard to the 33. It'll be third and nine now for Goddard. Cornelson with a little bit of a limp. He has that right knee brace playing the safety spot, but pretty good mobility. Third down and nine for Goddard. Hamilton with the eye set behind him. Brandon Thompson now in the fullback along with Jason Kelly. Hamilton straight drop back, looks. Plenty of time, fires it right side, and it's incomplete. Intended for Thompson, the fullback, but two liberal defenders over there, including middle linebacker Jeremy Tooman. It falls incomplete, and it's fourth down, and the Lions will have to kick it away. So really, the Lions really haven't shown anything to threaten this liberal defense so far, Bob. Eric Johnson to kick it away from his 18-yard line. Gets the snap, kick on the way, and end over end kick. Rashidi Love comes up and picks it up at the 42, but he went to a knee, I think, and they're going to mark it down right there. Dangerous play that time by Love. Tried to come up quickly on the punt, and he kind of trapped it. And as he did, his right knee touched the turf, and the Redskins will start first and 10 from their 43. Redskins have scored on the last two drives. Would have scored on all three, but they fumbled on their first play of the ball game. Liberal up 14-0, approaching 11 minutes in the first half. Chapman, hand off to Garman, trying to cut off right tackle, and he's dropped. Absolutely nothing there. That time, three blue shirts were in there. Joe Strunk, coming up from his linebacker spot, was one of them. And a loss of a couple, second down and 12. Andy Hall has also been a factor in this one. He's in the backfield with Jason Dunlap. Second down and 12. Chapman takes the snap, handoff to Hall, flag down, rolling right. Hall across 45, midfield 45, 40. He's loose, 30, and finally knocked out of bounds. 
at the Goddard 28 yard line. Boy, Hall really put on the burners as he turned the corner. Looked like he might have only gotten five, maybe 10 yards out of the play, but he sprinted down the sideline. But there's a penalty flag resting back on a liberal 32, and it's going against the Redskins. So the big gain by Andy Hall negated. That would have put him, I believe, over the 100-yard mark. He is just picking up huge chunks of yardage. And the key, I think, so far has been the ability of Garmin and Hall to turn that corner and get to the outside. This is going to be marked five yards backwards. It was a legal motion on the Redskins, and they'll now have a second down from their own 37. And second down, and looks like about 17 yards to go. Let's call it close to 18. Second and 18 for the Redskins. Chapman, hand off straight ahead to Dunlap, and not much there. Maybe a couple out to the 39. Good play that time by the big tackle, David Buck, 6'2", 260 senior. It'll bring up third down and about 15 for the Redskins. So a very conservative call there. Let's see if they put it in the air here, Bob. Now the Liberal Redskins want a timeout. Gary Cornelson wanting to make sure they don't make any mistakes here with the third and 15. 9.53 to go in the first half. Redskins leading the Goddard Lions 14 to nothing. Well, we've seen Chapman hook up with Jeremy Tooman several times in this season. It'll be interesting to see if they go to the big tight end again. That's a safe play if you go with that little short pass across the middle a lot of times. It's not a pass that can be picked off in the passing lanes, but I'm sure Cornelson has something up his sleeve here. Third and 15 liberal from their 38-yard line, leading Goddard 14 to nothing. 9.53 to go in the first half. Chapman with Dunlap and Hall in the eye set behind him. Lamar takes a snap, fakes the handoff, play action, wants to throw, fires deep down the left sideline. Tillman's got it to the 35, inside the 30. He's dragged down at the 25-yard line. Now well, we talked about it, and they hooked up. Chapman to Tillman. A uh, big hiccup on the play. The pass was underthrown. If it was thrown on a line, Tuman had six points. Tim, our statistician, tells us a 36-yard completion on the play. First down, Liberal. Chapman. Handoff, Hall trying to get outside, breaks the tackle inside the 25 and gang tackled and driven backwards. He got the ball to about the 23 as forward progress and I think he picked up a couple on the play and it's lucky he got anything. It looked like he might have been dropped in the backfield. <laughs> Chad Thomas. Great leg, great leg strength that time. Second and eight for the Redskins. 8.50 to go first half, up 14-0. Hall straight ahead and he's buried. Boy, was that a stick coming in that time for the Goddard Lions with Chad Bowles. Bowles with a helmet to shoulder pad hit that time. The six foot, 175 defensive back really stuck Andy Hall, no gain. Third and nine on the 25 of Goddard. I set behind Chapman. Takes a snap. Fake handoff. Rolls right. Wants to throw. Pressure. Fires. Complete the Dunlap. Inside the 15 and knocked out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. First and 10 liberal. Jason Dunlap from his fullback spot with a reception and a pickup of about 13 on the play and a nice play action pass by Lamar Chapman. Chapman's pass complete to number nine, Jason Dunlap. Tackle on the play by 25, Chad Thomas. First and 10, Liberal. If 
officials mark it on the 11th. First and 10 Redskins on the Goddard 11-yard line. Already up 14-0. Chapman, handoff. Garmin trying to get past left tackle. He's to the 10, and he slips at about the 8-yard line. Chapman might have had six points. Lost his footing as he tried to make a cut. Picked up about three. It'll be second down. Let's call it six at about the 8-yard line. You're not suggesting that they'd water the field intentionally. Chapman hand off to Hall straight ahead. Fumble, but Hall gets back on it at about the 12 yard line. Andy Hall tried to go straight ahead, bounced into somebody, coughed up the football, went backwards a couple yards, but luckily he jumped right on it. But Liberal now facing a third down, and looks like about 11 yards are going to mark it back at the 12-yard line. And now the Redskins are going to call another timeout. 6.52 to go in the first half. Liberal 14 to nothing. Cornelson's hot about something. And looks like the, they didn't get the water jug out there. They're finally bringing it out now. Liberal up 14-0. This is a situation, though, you need to come away with some points. A very time-consuming drive. And the Redskins have had their way in the line of scrimmage. Yes, and Liberal has completely dominated the game so far. Any sort of the same Third and 11 for Liberal on the Goddard 12-yard line with 6.51 to go in the first half. Redskins up 14-0. Cornelson giving his offense some last-minute instructions. Liberal has really eaten up the clock. It's really been ball control. They've had the ball for most of this game. Ryan Rhodes is in there at a fullback spot along with Andy Hall and David Garman. Rashidi Love will be split left. Garmin in a slot to the left. Rhodes and Hall in the eye set behind Chapman. Third and 11 on the Goddard 12. Chapman takes the snap. Play action, wants to throw. He's got Tuman open and he catches it for the touchdown. Jeremy Tuman in the right side of the end zone with a pretty catch. Chapman laid it out there perfectly, hit him in stride, and Tuman with his hands extended pulled it in. And another TD for Liberal. It's 20 to nothing. Boy, that was a pretty play, Bob, and Chapman with some nice touch on it. Aguilar for the point after touchdown. Snap down, kick on the way, and he got it. Aguilar adds the extra point. 6.46 to go in the second quarter. Liberal 21, Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Philip Aguilar kicks it away, an end over end short kick. It'll be taken by the up back, Curtis Kempton, and he drives it straight ahead. And Liberal right there, and they drop him at about the 22 yard line. So Curtis Kempton on the short kick, and not much of a return, and the Redskins will go on defense. Well, Liberal has been successful with the run, and we kind of expected that, but I'm really impressed with the way Lamar Chapman has hooked up, especially with Jeremy Tooman for a couple big receptions. Jason Kelly on the carry for a short gain out to about the 25 yard line for Goddard, a pickup of a couple. It'll bring up second down and eight at the 25. Approaching six minutes to go in the first half. If you just joined us, the Redskins have had three long drives, 76, 65, and 56 yards, and they lead the Goddard Lions 21-0. Redskins dominating defensively as well, really stacking up well against that big offensive line of Goddard. Hamilton hands off to Kelly. Out across the 25 and near the 30-yard line. He'll be a little bit short of the 
first down. It'll bring up third down and call it about four yards to go. Picks up about four on the play. Third down and a long four yards to go. Goddard's got it on their own 29-yard line. Hamilton rolls left, wants to throw the football, sets, fires it, floats it up there, and out of bounds incomplete. Pass intended for Dane Bear, the wideout, and another ball that really hung up in the air and well out of bounds here toward the liberal bench. It'll be fourth down, and the Lions will punt it away. Hamilton really hasn't done anything to impress the liberal secondary. They're just kind of hanging back, waiting for his throws. They were really hurt by the loss of their starting quarterback, Travis Ford, to an injury early on. The kick away by Eric Johnson, and it's kicked inside liberal territory. Gets a great roll inside the 30, inside the 25, and it's going to die at the 21-yard line. Liberal didn't look like they had anybody back to return that one. And Rashidi Love was up on it, didn't field it, and it got a great Goddard roll. Liberal takes over first and 10 from its own 21 yard line. <laughs> So the Redskins will start first down from their 21-yard line. A huge kick that time by the punter, Eric Johnson. 49 yards. 4.43 to go in the first half. Liberal comfortably in front, 21-0. Chapman brings into the line. Dunlap and Garmin in the eye set. Chapman takes a snap. Option right, he's going to keep it, and he's strung out and dropped. Joe Strupp, the linebacker, really did a good job staying with Lamar Chapman, the 6'160 senior, stayed right with Lamar, didn't bite on the fake, and he drops him for a loss of a couple back to the 19, second down and 12. 4.15, the clock running here in the first half. Liberal 21 and Goddard nothing. Redskins trying to win their second district game, and if they do, we'll be in a position to wrap it up next week at campus. Hi, Shandy over the football. Jackie Wilson split left. Andy Hall and Andy Hall in a slot to the left. Rhodes and Garmin in the eye set. Chapman handoff straight ahead to Rhodes. Bulls it across the 20 to the 25, out to the 29 yard line. And he picks up about 10 on the play. It'll bring up a third down and two. Ryan Rhodes with some hard running straight ahead, bounced off several tacklers. And that's where he's effective, right up the middle. Third and close to three yards. Liberal has it on their 29-yard line. Chapman, handoff, Garmin, left tackle. And he's across the 30, but he's going to be short. It's going to be close. They're going to mark it just across the 30. I think they needed to get it to about the 31 and a half yard line. It's going to bring up a fourth down. And let's call it a short yard. And I don't see the punt team, Bob. Boy, this is an interesting call, though. 240 to go in the first half. You're up 21 nothing, and you're going for it. Fourth and one on your own 30-yard line. I don't think you'd see a lot of coaches go for it in this situation. Chapman brings them to the line, and now we have a timeout on the field. It looks like the Goddard Lions are going to call the timeout. So they may be a little bit unsure. They probably didn't expect the Redskins to go for it here. Probably had their punt team out there. And that's the call. So 229 to go in the first half. I still question this call, Bob, and I I respect Gary Cornell and most of the calls. He's made some great calls all season long, but you're up 21 nothing. You're if you don't get it here, you're setting up Goddard for a score here before the half ends. That's why we're not coaching. That's right. We're up here in the announcement. 
That's right, and he leads 21-0, and he gives his team some last-minute instructions. Both teams out of their timeouts. Fourth down one, Liberal going for it on their own 30-yard line, leading 21-0, 2.29 to go first half. Chapman under center, takes the snap, and I think we had encroachment. Offsides on Goddard, and that was Jeff Barnett, a 5'8", senior, Chapman Barking the signals and Barnett jumped. So an automatic first down, that's an easy way to get your first down. Liberal now with an opportunity to put some more points on the board, approaching two minutes to go in the first half, up 21-0. David Garman will be split way out to the right side. Love split left. Rhodes and Hall in the backfield. First down, Liberal from their 35-yard line. Chapman takes the snap. Straight drop back. Looks. Stumbles. Now fires across the middle. Incomplete. Intended for Love, and now a penalty flag is thrown. On the coverage was Jake Kohlmeyer, the cornerback, and he and Rashidi bumped it about the 45-yard line, 10 yards downfield. Let's, say, let's see which way this one goes. It looked like Kohlmeyer got in the way of Rashidi that time. So that will be, there it is, a push-off. Defensive pass interference. That is a 10-yard penalty and a first down for the Redskins. Now that's a, actually a 15-yard penalty as they mark it near midfield. So 15 yards on the defensive pass interference. Ball mark now on the Goddard 49-yard line, and the Lions want another timeout. So a couple back-to-back -back penalties have netted 20 yards for Liberal, and I would not be surprised to see Liberal put some more points on the board here, the way they've been moving the football. Two minutes to go. You have to be impressed with the way that Garmin and Hall have gotten to the outside. We talked about how the Lions didn't have the speed defensively, but they do have some pretty good lateral movement, especially from the tackles, but Liberal just beating them off the football right now. They're getting the yardage up the middle as well as to the outside. First and 10 on the Goddard 49-yard line. Chapman, handoff, straight ahead, Rhodes, big hole, 45-40, and he's dropped there, and he's going to be close to a first down. Rhodes just burrowing his way straight ahead past tacklers. Pick up of nine on the play. It'll be second down and about a yard. Rhodes finding it easy going up the middle, and anytime that dive play works, you know the defense is in trouble. Second and one, Chapman quickly under center. Hand off Rhodes straight ahead. He's got five, he's got 10, he's got 14, 15 yards all the way down to the 25 and another Redskin first down. And they are having their way on that offensive front. Matt Ludwig doing a good job blocking. He comes out of the game, Eli Lanning in there. But it's the guys like McDaniel, Shandy, Eli Lanning, Rob Glover, they're all just blowing the lines off the football. Rode straight ahead, this time hit at the line of scrimmage, but carrying tacklers for about three yards to about the 22-yard line. It'll set up a second down and about seven yards to go. Approaching a minute to go now in the first half. Liberal up 21-0. And the Redskins threatening to score again. Jackie Wilson split left, Garmin split right, Rhodes and Hall in the backfield. Chapman takes a snap, handoff. This time right side to Hall. Hall with flag thrown inside the 15 to the 10. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Redskins. But hold on. The penalty flag thrown in the backfield, and Cornelson shakes his head in disgust. It's going against the angry Red. Andy Hall's had a couple big runs negated. This one is going to be a 15-yarder all the way back to the 39-yard line. And it's clipping. Boy. And that's going to almost, that takes Liberal out of scoring range now. 41 seconds. They need a couple big plays to at least get into field goal range here. Second down. 
and 22 yards to go from the Goddard 39. Chapman straight drop back, wants to throw, fires it right side, the pass is incomplete. Love had it and dropped it at about the 27 yard line. Third and 22. Here you need to pick up the first down and at least try to get your field goal team on there, but they don't pick it up. They could probably think here two plays to pick up that first down. Two. They've got two receivers split right, Tuman and Garmin. Love is split left. Chapman straight drop back. He has some time, fires right side, completes the two-minute inside the 30, the 25 to the 20, but he stays in bounds with 27 seconds to go. The clock will stop momentarily. He's going to be a little bit short of that first down. It'll be fourth down at about four at the 20 with 27 seconds to go, and now the Redskins call a timeout. So what do you do here, Bob? You've got fourth and about four on the 20 of Goddard. You can kick the field goal or, or go for the first down. It's well within Aguilar's range, and here comes Philip Aguilar. So with 27 seconds to go and a fourth and four on the Goddard 20-yard line, Aguilar will try to add three more points. Liberal leading Goddard 21-0. The ball will be on the right hash. Aguilar will put the tee down at about the 27, so it'll be a 37-yard attempt here. Josh Hensley to hold. Angle to the left. I do, too. And Aguilar is going to have to be able to make some kicks as postseason time rolls around. Snap down, kick on the way. He's got plenty of distance, but he hooked it left, but it's good. Just inside the left upright. Philip Aguilar buries it from 37 yards away, and Liberal adds to their lead. 22 seconds to go first half. Redskins 24, Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskins football on 1270 KSCB. Onside, onside kick. <laughs> Philip Aguilar squibs it up the middle, and Barney Miller, the Goddard deep back, covers it on the 28-yard line, and the Lions will start there. Only 20 seconds to go in the first half. Liberal up 24-0. They just ended a drive with a Philip Aguilar 37-yard field goal to extend their lead, and this has been one of the better performances, I think, for Gary Cornelson all year. He's had a few penalties, but... I don't think he can be pleased with a lot of, or displeased with a lot of things in the first half. Rory Hamilton will have two receivers split left, one split right. In motion will be the fullback. Draw play straight ahead to Jason Kelly across the 30, and he's knocked down at about the 31-yard line. Very conservative call, and I think that's going to be the final play here of the first half. Under 10 seconds, and that's going to do it unless the Lions call a timeout. Liberal has completely dominated the first half of play here from Goddard High School. The score at intermission. The Liberal Redskins 24, the Goddard Lions nothing. We'll be back with a halftime report. You're listening to Redskins football on 1270 KSCB. Play for the first time in this ball game. And that is a statement to how Liberal has dominated this game so far, leading at 24-0. To kick it away for the Goddard Lions will be Rory Hamilton, their quarterback. Doubles as the kicker. Rasheed Love, the deep man. He'll stand back on his seven-yard line. About set for the second half kickoff. Redskins trying to put another score on the board and add to their 24-0 lead. Hamilton has a signal from the official. His kicking team set, 
He kicks an onside kick near midfield. It's loose. And who's got the football? I think Goddard is on it on the liberal 48, and they've got it. What a way to start the second half. The Goddard Lions with an onside kick. A beauty by Rory Hamilton. Squibbed it on the ground. Liberal wasn't expecting it, and the Lions have the football in Redskin territory. Something that you should anticipate for a team that's down 24 or nothing. You've got nothing else to lose if you don't have to go. Chad Thomas got on the ball. Now here's a handoff, but a whistle is blown before the play can get started. A flag thrown right at the line of scrimmage, and it's either a legal procedure or offsides. It's going to be offsides against Liberal. So the Redskins. Caught a little bit off guard here to start the second half. The five-yard penalty moves it to the 44. It'll be first and five for Goddard. Just underway here in the second half, 11.43 to go. Third quarter, Liberal up 24-0. So if the Lions score here, they probably feel like they can get back in this ball game. set behind the quarterback Hamilton and a handoff to Kelly the halfback and he takes it across the 40 and he's close to a first down. Yes and they, they threw the ball for a first down so I think that that's their third, and they had only 36 total yards in the first half. First and 10, Goddard on the liberal 37-yard line. Hamilton under center. Hand off Kelly, off left tackle. Wedges it across the 40, and he's close to cross the 35 and close to the 30-yard line. And that's going to be a pretty good pickup on the play of about six yards, second down and four. This happens often. You get the pendulum swinging your way, and anything can happen. And not a good way to start for the Redskins. 24-0, they lead it. Second down, five yards to go for Goddard on the liberal 32-yard line. Hamilton with the eye set behind him, takes a snap, hand off Kelly, straight ahead, and not much there, a couple. Carries the ball inside the 30 to the 29, and it'll bring up third down and about two or three yards to go. Tackle on the play by 51, Robbie Glover, 74, Eli Lanning. Goddard is going to have to go up in the air. Third and about two, ball jumps inside the 32. Third and two on the Redskin 29-yard line. Just underway in the second half, Rory Hamilton, the quarterback who successfully kicked that squibber to get the... Second half going on the onside kick. Three back set, Hamilton, play action. Option right, pitches it out there to Curtis Kempton, and he's dragged down and lost about four or five on the play. Kempton trying to get the corner turn. Looks like Hoffman, the linebacking crew, did a good job. Back to about the 33, 33-yard line, fourth down. So a loss of about three, and it's going to set up a fourth down and six. The ball placed back now on the 33-yard line. So a big play there, and now it may force Goddard into a passing situation. Two receivers split left. In the backfield, Thompson and also Kelly. Play action, roll left for the quarterback. Hamilton fires it downfield, and it's picked off at the 10-yard line by Rashidi Love. The Love will bring it across the 20 to the 30-yard line, and the Redskins have the football. Rory Hamilton picked off again. That's the second time Love has intercepted him. That ball hung up for a while. He's trying to spot his receiver, Cowell, over the middle, and Love read it perfectly, and the Redskins have the football back. So Rashidi having a field day back there. Redskins have it for their first offensive set here in the second half, first down from their own 29. Dunlap and Garmin in the backfield. Chapman. Handoff, Garmin, and nothing there. Clogging up the middle that time for the Goddard Lions. Their front four doing a good job. Mike McEwen, a 5'10", 170 senior on the stop. Gain of Garth, one, second down and nine. 8.40 to go, third quarter. Redskins lead at 
maybe a half a yard on the play. Jackie Wilson split left, three back set in the backfield. Chapman with the snap, handoff straight ahead. It's Dunlap across the 30, 35, and wedges it out close to a first down. I believe he has it at the 40-yard line. Pick up of 10 yards and a first down for Liberal. Eight sixteen clock running third quarter. First down skins from their 40. Chapman straight ahead again. It's Dunlap and this time not much. He gets a couple. They're going to mark it out to about the 43-yard line. Give them four, second down and six. Matt Ludwig into the game at a line spot for Roger Hoffman. Second and seven for the Redskins. Wilson split left. Hall, Dunlap, and Garman in the backfield. Chapman takes a snap, handoff, red straight ahead, Dunlap, big hole, midfield, 45, 40, 35, he's loose to the 30, he could go, 20, 15, and he's knocked out at the 12-yard line. Jason Dunlap finally knocked out of bounds by Jeff Barnett, the defensive end, or he was gone for the touchdown. Giant pickup that time, Dunlap going up the middle on the dive. And it's going to be first and 10 Redskins at the Goddard 12-yard line. So Dunlap finding it easy going and good speed for a fullback. He picks up yardage all the way to the 12-yard line. 45 yards on the carry. Chapman takes a snap, handoff Garmin trying to sweep left. They string him out. He cuts back inside the 10 and finally dragged down at about the 8-yard line. Pick up uh, about 4 on the play. And the tackle that time by Mike McEwen, the linebacker. Second down, let's call it five at the Goddard eight-yard line. Hall split way out to the right side. Chapman, handoff. It's going to be Garmin, and he's dropped, but he keeps his feet. He gets it back to about the original line of scrimmage. That time, knifing in there. A good defensive play by Joe Strunk, and finishing him off that time was Brandon Junod, a linebacker, and no gain. Give him a yard. It's third down and four. Third and four on the sixth. Chapman play action. Wants to throw. Fires across the middle. Tuman's got it for the touchdown. Chapman to Tuman again. They hook up for the second time tonight. This time a six-yard scoring pass. Ta Chapman spotted Tuman right between the seams in the middle of the end zone. And Jeremy Tuman catches it. It's 30 to nothing liberal. Well, they're hooking up again. They've got some chemistry going now, Bob. Aguilar for the conversion, and it's straight through there. 6-16 to go in the third quarter. Liberal 31, Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Trey Bender, Bob Judd, back at Goddard High School. Redskins leading the Goddard Lions 31 to nothing with 6.16 to go in the third quarter. On the last drive, Lamar Chapman to Jeremy Tuman on a six yard touchdown pass. That was the first score here in the second half. Complete domination by the Redskins. Philip Aguilar to kick it away from his 40. It'll be a short kick. Curtis Kempton will take it on the 15. Straight ahead, Kempton out across the 20, breaks the tackle and finally dropped at about the 24-yard line, and that's where Goddard starts first and 10. Well, Bob, I don't think, I know some people didn't expect a route like this, but some did. You were one of them. You said 35-7 liberal before this one. Rory 
Hamilton still in at quarterback for Goddard. Handoff straight ahead and a couple yards on the carry for Goddard out to about the 25 yard line. That time Jason Kelly, their key ground gainer, and he's find it, finding it tough sledding tonight. Second down and eight yards to go. So Kelly, who really gets a lot of carries normally, isn't seeing as much of the football tonight because they've had to put it in the air and try to play some catch up. Second down and eight for the Goddard Lions. 5.20 to go third quarter. Hamilton play action pressure and he's sacked and the ball's loose. Stegman sacked and the ball is loose inside the 10. And who's got the football? I think Goddard got back on it. Getting back there to recover it, Chad Bowles, a six foot junior running back. So Goddard saves space on that one. But Mike Stegman with the sack of Hamilton and the ball came loose. Known for his quickness. Yeah, he is very quick. Third down and long. Third and 20. Hamilton's going to play it safe and give it to the fullback straight ahead. And Brandon Thompson is met at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Roger Hoffman in on the tackle. Mike Stegman as well. A good series for Stegman. And Goddard will punt the football. Fourth and about 20. 420 to go third quarter. Liberal 31, Goddard nothing. Rashidi Love will be back to receive it. He's standing on the Goddard 45, so the Redskins will get good field position unless something dramatic happens, like a 70-yard punt here. Snap back, a flag is thrown. The kick is away by Eric Johnson. It's a low kick, and it's going to go out of bounds, angled out, and let's see where the referee marks it. Inside the 35 at the Goddard 33, but there's a penalty flag resting on the 15-yard line. Josh Hensley is pointing towards Goddard, so let's see what this is about. Redskins would have it on the 33. They could decline it and take the football right there, and I think that would be the choice. It will be against the Goddard Lions, I believe. The ball was angled out at the 33, ended up being a very poor kick of only about 20 yards. And the Redskins will have their offense on the field, first and 10 on the Goddard 33. They decline the procedure penalty on Goddard. So with 4.02 to go in the third quarter, Liberal trying to add to their lead. 56-0 winners last week, 31-0 leaders here in the second half this week. We're, we're kind of used to this. We enjoy this, don't we? Rhodes and Garmin in the backfield. Chapman on a quarterback keeper straight ahead, and he picks up good yardage. Number 11, Chapman, Lamar Chapman inside Lamar for center. about five and yards. They're going to mark it inside the 30 at the 29. That time, just a quarterback keeper. A lot of times, quarterbacks will see a hole and just keep the football and pick up yardage. <coughs> Andy Hall split right. Wilson split left. Rhodes and Garmin. Split backs behind Chapman, second and five. He'll keep it again, straight ahead, big hole. Chapman to the 20, to the 15 before he's knocked down. And Chapman making it look easy on the quarterback keeper. First and 10 Redskins in the Goddard 15 yard line. 310 to go third quarter. Chapman, hand off, Garmin off right tackle, breaks a tackle, and finally is tripped up and dropped. Maybe got a yard to the 14 yard line. Looked like the tackle that time, David Buff got him by the shoelaces. Strong left ball carrier, right guard, tackle on the play by number 76, David Buck. Probably on the line. All inside the 15, so about the 14, second side. <laughs> 77 yards rushing in the first half. Second down and nine for Liberal on the Goddard 14 yard line. Chapman with the long count. Straight ahead handoff to Rhodes inside the 10, and Rhodes bulls his way, but the football is loose inside the 10-yard line, and Goddard recovers it. So Ryan Rhodes coughs it up. He had the first down as he carried it inside 
the 10, but he fumbles the football. That's been a problem for Ryan during the season, and the Lions take it over deep in their own territory. Two fifteen to go, third quarter. Liberal out comfortably in front. Rory Hamilton with the two backs behind him. Hands off to Kelly, sweeping left. Kelly trying to get to the outside, and they string it out. Good play that time. Rashidi Love, along with others, Glover, Stegman, Rhodes, all of them were out there to string that play out. And they end up getting only a couple on the play. It'll be second and eight from about the seven-yard line. That shows you the speed of the Redskins as they really did a good job to string that play out. Hamilton hands off to Kelly, this time streaking to the right side, and again, same play, but on the other side, Brian Herbel over there, Jason among Kelly others. 41 again, the ball carrier for the Lions, that right Maybe a yard, they're going to mark it up, give him a couple Lions. yards across Brian the Herbel. 15 to about the 17. It'll bring up the third down and four for Goddard. Approaching a minute to go in the third quarter, Liberal 31-0 leaders over Goddard. Third down and five for the Lions. And right now, they don't want to give up the football here. They need to pick up a first down, and you need to get some moral victories out of this ball game. This one well out of reach for the Lions. Hamilton hands off to Kempton, the fullback, and he wedges it across the 15, and I think he's got a first down. Takes it to the 20, pick up of about seven on the play and a first down for the Lions. So that is one of the rare things that has happened to this Lions club in the ball game tonight. First down for Goddard, 43 seconds to go third quarter. Redskins have dominated from the start. Rory Hamilton, a six foot 150 senior under center. Long count, handoff, Kempton, or that's Kelly, excuse me, and he gets a couple to the 23. Rhodes was there, Stegman also got a hand in there. And a pickup of two on the play, second down and eight, and I think that could be the final play of this third quarter. Under 10 seconds, and that's going to do it for this third period of play. The Liberal Redskins tack on another score. Here in the third quarter, Lamar Chapman to Jeremy Tooman, six-yard touchdown pass. We've got one quarter to go here from Goddard High School. It's Liberal 31 and Goddard nothing. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. It's left in this one, Goddard with the football. They'll have a second and eight from their 22-yard line. Looking at Liberal defensively, Justin Cornelson still in at a safety spot with Rashidi Love, Ryan Loveless, Brian Herbal at the corners. Stegman, Glover, Hoffman, Tatum, Rhodes, Moen, and Lanning all in there defensively for the angry red. Second down and eight. Hamilton straight ahead handoff to Kelly, and he picks up about two to the 25-yard line, slanting off right tackle. Glover and Love are in there on the tackle. It'll be third down and five yards to go. Third and five. Let's see if Goddard puts the ball in the air. They haven't had any success. They've completed a couple passes, but really not anything that has threatened the liberal defense. I set behind Hamilton. Handoff to Kelly. Sweeping to the outside, left side. Breaks a tackle. He's loose. First down and more. 45 and close to midfield before he's dragged down. Pickup of about 19 yards on the play. Jason Kelly with a big game. <laughs> First down, Goddard from their 49 now, approaching 11 minutes to go in this one. Liberal 31, Goddard nothing. Split out, Dane Bear and Mark Cowell to the right side. Now movement, <laughs> that is the most obvious play in the game. The right tackle for the 
Goddard Lions, Josh Bolin, a 6'3", 2'10", junior, fired off the football, and everyone else stayed stationary. A legal procedure on the Lions. That's an embarrassing situation there. Everybody sees it. At least he did it away from the coaching staff on that far sideline. <laughs> First and 15 now for Goddard from their 44-yard line. Again, two receivers split right. Hamilton hands off to Kelly straight ahead. Same play, same result, nothing. Jeff Moen was in there, one of the Redskins on the stop. And he may have lost a yard. It'll be second down and no gain on the play. Second and 15. Boy, they just aren't very imaginative with Kelly up the middle. Second and 15, Hamilton rolls right and throws, and the pass is incomplete. Two receivers were over there, Dane Bear and Eric Johnson, but good coverage by Liberal. They had about four white shirts around the football. It's incomplete. It's third and 15. One setback, Kelly now a movement again. Looked like two players on the offensive line for Goddard this time moved. One of them was the same guy who got tagged earlier, Josh Bowen. The other, James Renner, a 5'5", 160 senior. That's a legal procedure against the team in blue. Moves it back five yards at third, third down and 20 now at the 38-yard line. So the Lions coming apart at the seams and their season coming apart as we speak here with just 10.03 to go in this one. Third down, 20 yards to go for Goddard. Hamilton with a long count in motion, a back to the left side, short drop, fires a lateral back to Kale Warden, and he fires it down the left side, and it's caught by Eric Johnson inside the liberal 30, down to about the 21-yard line. Well, you called it, Bob. We thought we'd see some trick plays in that one. That was the old... Lateral pass to the receiver. Receiver drops back and fires it to another receiver downfield for a big gain. And that that was one of the few plays that has worked for Goddard tonight. That was Cale Warden who caught the pass on the far sideline. He's a backup quarterback, and he fired it to Eric Johnson for a big gain. Hand off to Jason Kelly now inside the 25 and knocked out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. Actually, they're going to mark it outside the 10, a pickup of 10 on the play. The original line of scrimmage was the 20, and that's going to be a first down. And they'd like to get a shutout here. They had the shutout last week, 56-0, 9.35 to go. And Liberal up 31 to nothing. So you, you wonder, though, if Farrell Jones maybe waited too long. It, obviously, he did. They're down 31-0. You would think when he got down early, he'd maybe try to go to that trick play. Well, you've been thought so, but uh, most of the first thing that they absolutely didn't get the yard to set anything up. Uh, a couple of times they uh, did try the pass. Uh, and, of course, what sets uh, that play up is uh, a little bit of uh, an indication that you have a passing game. They really didn't show that they had a passing game. And they didn't, they didn't have the football in the first half. They uh, Liberal completely had ball control in that first half and kept that clock running. So first down, and it looks like first and 10 just outside the 10-yard line. They can get a first down at about the foot line. So they're just outside the Liberal 10 with 9.35 to go first down. Hamilton under center. His handoff straight ahead to Kelly, and he wedges it inside the 10. He gets it close to the 5 on the play. It'll be second down from there. 
Clock running, 9.20 now to go in the game. They're going to mark it at about the six-yard line. So second down and a long five at the liberal six. And the only suspense now is, can the Redskins get a shutout in this one? The blue-shirted Lions come to the line of scrimmage. Dane Bear split right. Thompson and Kelly in the backfield. Hamilton rolls right. Pressure, and it's loose. The ball is loose on the field, but they're going to roll it an incomplete pass. Ryan Rhodes looked like he might have hit the quarterback's arm. The ball came flying loose at about the 14-yard line, but they'll rule it incomplete. It'll be third down and about six yards to go. So third down now with the clock stop at 8.56 to go in this one. And I'm sure this is two down territory here. We'll get two more plays off to try to punch it in the end zone. Liberal first team defense still on the field. Third down, let's call it seven, right at about the seven yard line. High <coughs> set behind Rory Hamilton. Takes a snap, handoff. Kelly trying to sweep left and he's not down. Rhodes was there first, but coming up with a tackle that time was, I believe, Rob Glover who dropped him. And it's gonna be fourth down for Goddard. So the liberal defense again, stringing out those sweeps to the outside. Fourth down and seven on the liberal seven and a half yard line. Redskins trying to hang on to that shutout. Fourth and six. Hamilton, straight drop back, rolls right, fires, and it's incomplete. And the liberal defense stands. So Goddard is out on downs. They drove it all the way to the six-yard line, but that pass fell incomplete. There's only nobody over in the area. Eric Johnson was in the back part of the end zone, but the, the ball thrown well in front of him. And Liberal takes over on their own six-yard line. Eight oh four to go. Liberal still leading, thirty-one nothing. Chapman still at quarterback. Takes the snap. He'll keep it straight ahead to the 10. Chapman to the 15, 20. He's loose. Chapman all the way out to the 30-yard line. A pickup of about 24 on the play before he's dragged down from behind. Mark Chapman with that speed just darting through the hole. And here comes the second team offense now for the Angry Red. <laughs> Seven forty-seven to go, and Lamar Chapman and the rest of the offense, a tremendous job, 31 points put on the board against a pretty good Goddard defense. They played well against campus last week, losing 28-20. They have the two big tackles, but the liberal offense really chewing up big yardage in this one. So the second team unit is now on the field. Caleb Tooman will be split to the right side, the freshman. In the backfield, Kevin Hammond and Jared Kinsinger. And the quarterback is Josh Hensley. First down, Liberal. Hensley straight ahead, and he gets about two or three as he takes it across the 30 to about the 32-yard line, and the clock continues to run. 7.38 and running. Liberal will move the record to 6-2 in this one. Hensley had a touchdown run last week against Bishop Carroll, showed his good passing arm and has a pretty good future ahead of him, still another year, just a junior this year. Second and seven, Hensley hands off to Kinsinger, and Kinsinger gets it out to about the 35 for about three on the play before he's dropped there. It'll bring up a third down or a couple. James Berry is in the game as a wideout. 
And now Barry will come out of the ball game and Rodney Holman will come in for him. Third down and three yards to go. Liberal has it on their own 34 yard line. Hensley under center. Option left. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 35 and he's going to be very close to a first down. Needed to get it out to the 37. Tackled on the play by Mike McEwen and he's going to be very close. Not a yard shy, so fourth and one, and they're going to go for it. Jeff Mullen into the game to replace Kinsinger at fullback. Well, let's see. They still have that unit in, and now they're going for it, Bob. Fourth and one. Interesting call here. Six minutes to go, up 31 nothing. Second team trying to get a first down on fourth and one at the 36. Hensley trying to draw him off sides. Now Mullen darts out of the backfield and into the linebacking area of Goddard, and that's going to be a legal procedure. Now they have to punt the football. So, so Jeff Mullen jumping, getting the quick jump there, but he moved a signal or a <laughs> snap too soon, I guess. <laughs> Mullen will punt it away on fourth and six. Liberal up 31-0 with 5.57 to go in this one. Back deep to receive. Brian Gehring for Goddard. He's standing back on his 44-yard line. The clock stopped with 5.57 to go after the penalty. Liberal has campus next. That's all that separates the Redskins from a postseason berth. They were 5A runner-up last year, losing to Blue Valley Stillwell. Salina Central is currently ranked number one in 5A with a 6-1 record. Liberal ranked number two. Fourth down, Mullen will punt it from about to get his 20-yard line. Long count, clock running now. Snap is a high one. Mullen gets back and gets it, and a kick, an end-over-end end kick, and a great roll inside the Goddard 40, and Rashidi Love downs it at the 30-yard line. So Jeff Mullen... Doing a good job to retrieve the football, and then he kicks it away, and the end-over-end end kick gets a great roll. And Goddard will take over at their own 31-yard line. 5.35 to go in this one. This one hasn't had much suspense in it, has it, the last two ball games, and I'm sure the liberal coaching staff likes that. I don't think they can complain. Huh? And hands off to Kelly, and Kelly's met in the backfield and dropped for a loss. Ryan Rhodes was in there, one of the Redskins. Jason Kelly is going to be a black and blue running back tonight. He has taken some vicious shots, and a lot of the tackles have been made against him for negative yardage. Second and 12, Goddard. They've got it on their own 29 yard line. 450 to go in this one. Hand off Kelly off right tackle. Hoffman hangs on, the ball's loose, and Liberal's got it. Hoffman on the tackle, it's squirted loose, and the recovery made by Jackie Wilson on the Goddard 38 yard line. Roger Hoffman caused that turnover. He hit Kelly right in the midsection, and the ball squirted forward. An opportunistic play by Jackie Wilson. Second team unit still in there on offense. Josh Hensley keeps it straight ahead for a couple to the 36. Bring up second down and eight. 428 clock running in this one. Liberal 31, got or nothing. One. Caleb Tooman split left, James Berry split right, Kinsinger and Hammond in the eye set behind Hensley. Hand off to Kinsinger straight ahead and he carries tacklers inside the 30 to the 28. Pickup of 
about seven on the play, but there's a flag down there back near the 40-yard line. Flag on the far side, and usually that goes against the offense. And it's going to be holding on the Liberal Redskins. Of course, you come in on the Highway 54 to Richard Hall, take the Interstate 235 bypass south to Meridian, uh, the Meridian Nation, I should say. And then when you get on Meridian and you get on the South, go past the high school. And, uh, Liberal penalized for illegal procedure. Then you turn the ball back to about the 41 yard line. Second down and 13 for Liberal after the penalty on their own 42. Hensley keeps it option right. No, he gives off to the fullback. Kinzinger, nice fake inside the 35. The 30, Kinzinger all the way to the 25-yard line. Pickup of 16 and a Liberal first down. Nice fake by Hensley. It looked like he was on the option right, and Goddard bit on it, and that left a huge hole for Kinzinger up the middle. And the fullback with a 16-yard gain. Hand off Kinsinger and he gets a couple as they stack him up at about the 23. Second down and eight. 31 nothing Redskins trying to add another one with their second team offense in there. Holman checks in for Barry at a wideout spot now. Coaching three minutes to go. Second and eight on the Goddard 23. Holman split right, I set behind Hensley. Pitch right, it's Hammond trying to get to the outside. Hammond cuts back and he's gang tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Lost a couple, another penalty flag near the tackle at the 23. Redskins have been hit with the penalty flag quite a bit in this one, but this one goes against, now it goes against Liberal. Looks like they pointed Goddard's way. But the Zebra points it against Liberal, another holding call. And that'll move the pig skin all the way back to the 34 yard line. Montoya Alsup, the freshman now in at a running back spot for Kevin Hammond, the sophomore. Second down and 20 for the Redskins on the 34 of Goddard. Hensley on a keeper straight ahead and he takes it inside the 30 to about the 28, picks up six on the play. It'll be third down and let's call it 13. 2.34 to go. Liberal just running this clock down and they'll post their sixth victory of the season. It's now Gary Cornell just rotating guys in and out. Alsip and Holman come out. Barry's in the game. Hammond's in at a tailback. Option left to give to the fullback, Kinsinger, and they fake to him, and Hensley keeps it, and he's dropped in the backfield. That time, Mike McEwen, who's been a busy linebacker on the tackle, but another penalty flag is now. This is, is kind of rivaling last week's team. We saw a lot of penalty flags late, Bob. I think... Yeah, I was going to say, I think this is a face mask. I think they caught Hensley's face mask on the play, and that's what it is. It's going to be a 15-yarder all the way down to the guided 16-yard line. And that'll bring up a third down and a couple. So third and two on the Goddard 16. Hensley, this time hands off to Kinsinger, and he's stacked up at the line of scrimmage, and I don't think he got it. Maybe got it to the 15, but he's shy. It'll be fourth down. 157 clock running in this one. Liberal 31, Goddard nothing. Fourth down and one on the Goddard 15-yard line. Also is now into the game, along with Anthony Martinez at a wide receiver. Holman and Tuman check out. Caleb Tuman. Fourth and one on the Goddard 15 with 135 to go. Hensley, Kinsinger straight ahead, and it's going to be close. They needed to get it to the 14, maybe just shy of the 14 yard line. Let's see where they spot the football. They're going to call timeout. Nope, they got it. Didn't need the measurement. Just enough by Kinsinger, and that's a liberal first down and a move the chains. 120 clock running. Redskins trying to tack on another score here. Holman checks into the game for Alsup. 
Martinez split left, Holman split right. Kinsinger and Hammond in the backfield. First down on the 14. Kinsinger, the fullback, breaks the tackle inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Hard running by Jared Kinsinger. The 170-pound sophomore picks up five. It'll be second down, five yards to go up the nine. That kind of game to go for him. Chad Bowles, number 22, in on the stop. The line is coming. The ball is five and ten to about the nine. Thirty-five seconds to go. Handoff again to Ken Singer, and he wedges it close to a first down at about the five-yard line. Thirty seconds to go, and the officials are going to mark the ball right there, and he's going to be a little bit shy. It'll be third and one at the five. Twenty seconds. Is Liberal going to get a touchdown here to end this thing? They hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Third and one at the Goddard five. Hensley brings him to the line with 12 seconds. Takes the snap. Hand off Kinsinger, and he's stacked up at the line of scrimmage. And I believe that's going to do it. Three, two, one, and that is the ball game. The game ends with Liberal on the Goddard five-yard line. A dominating performance for the Redskins in their second district game of this 1992 football season. The final score from Goddard High School. Liberal 31, Goddard nothing. We'll be back with a post game. You're listening to Redskin Football on 1270 KSCB. Yeah.